Well, I'm going to double down here with the Avs and, and stick with them uh, and get in both Landis Gog at 7,100 and Ratton at 7,800. This offense is just generating too much goals not to get on board with their top line here. Uh, it's too good to skip on. And, and I really think you have to look at getting as many shares as you can of that top group and the number one power play uh, and really stack that. that one. All right, Paul, how about you, dude? On a small uh, scale of games tonight, that makes a lot of sense. But Willie Nylander also deserves a look. A look. $7,100 for him. He's enjoying a career best campaign. Second on the leaks in points with a point per game in 36 outings. Has some of his best performances against the Rangers. I know that for a fact. And Toronto boasts one of the top offenses in the league and is well rested entering play tonight against one of the league's better teams. And they're one of the top teams on the road as well. Another Leaf, Mitch Marner's priced at only $5,500, the lowest I can remember for a guy who's been among the top 10 scorers in the league over the last two years. So that's a bargain. In the same game, though, Chris Kreider on the other side has quietly moved up among the top NHL goal scorers in the league with 24 tallies so far. He leads the Rangers by a wide, wide margin, has seven goals in his last 10 games, and he's priced at a reasonable $5,900 tonight. Jeff, take us to the wings and things department. Who stands out to you? I will do that, sir. And I mean, much like center, there's some really good value here as well. You, look, we, we, you want a piece of the Avalanche top line. A AJ is right, but there's ways to fit them in. And, and there's some really, really like high end values here, too, that you can build around. Clayton Keller is probably my favorite at 5,700. I mean, this is a player that, I mean, he, he's looked good in spurts, but it looks like he's finally starting to put together, much like Jack Hughes. 4.7 shots on goal uh, over his last uh, 10 games. He's averaged, you know, you throw in a few block shots in there. He's just really producing. He's got five games with 20 or more uh, DK fantasy points over his last 10 games as well. 12 points over that same span. And I mean, this is a great game for fantasy purposes. I know it's the, the Arizona of uh, Coyotes, sorry, Coyotes, not Cardinals. And um, and like, you know, their offense is very hit or miss, but they're going up against the Devils team. They've just been decimated on the defensively. They don't have good goaltending. This is really good fantasy environment on both sides. And I think much like Jack Hughes, Clayton Keller is still underpriced because he's producing right now like an elite winger.